These are biopsy samples from the oral cavity of a female poodle dog. There is no history of the age of this dog. And uh, this sample was diagnosed as a squamous cell carcinoma. And um, here are a few characteristics of the squamous cell carcinoma of this dog. As you can see here, the epithelium um, with which is growing deep into the uh, submucosal area. You can see a lot of epithelium everywhere in the sub-epithelial uh, tissue. And it's quite uh, pretty here. You can see one of the characteristics, which is a horn pearl, which are keratinocytes growing in a circle and concentrically arranged uh, keratin lamella, which is a characteristic of a horn pearl. What is also quite important in this uh, squamous cell carcinoma that you check out each individual vessel which you can see in the sample to check whether you can see uh, tumor cells inside the lumen so that you can evaluate if there is angiomatosis carcinomatosa. In this case you can see epithelial cells are very very close to the um, endothelial cells here but in this uh, field of view, you can't see tumor cells in the lumina of the vessels. This um, dog also had an ulceration. Here you can see a lot of viable and degenerated neutrophils with um, an exudate and the destruction here of the basement membrane, which we call then uh, ulceration. What is also important in another area of this tumor, which um, is here, you can see very nicely the very prominent intracellular um, bridges and the spaces, so the cells are very well defined. And last but not least, here you can see one single cell which has clearly a very, very um, large diameter of 35.74 micrometer compared to other epithelial cells, which are only 14.36 micrometer. This is what we call severe anisocytosis, uh, when the cytoplasm has a, a variability in the diameter. So this was a squamous cell carcinoma and its characteristics in a female poodle dog. Um,